Hello there and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about our online courses. In one of my classes this week, we were discussing giving presents and what kind of presents usually get given in different countries when you go around to someone's house for dinner or when it's someone's birthday or at weddings or whatever. One of my students said, listen, whatever else you may think, you can't go wrong with chocolates. They're guaranteed to please whoever you give them to. Ah, you say that, another student responded, but actually sometimes they're the wrong thing to give. I mean, what about if you're trying to lose weight and you're on a diet and someone gives you a box of chocolates and they're basically putting temptation in your way? Not a great idea. We often respond to opinions that other people have given by saying, you say that, and then going on to explain why we disagree. It's basically a way of showing the person we're talking to that we don't agree or we don't fully agree with what they've said, that we think it's maybe not completely true. So perhaps you're discussing a friend of yours who's been fired from their job for sending personal emails on their work email account. And maybe one person says, oh, I can't believe it. It's so unfair. Yeah, you say that. But actually what happened was, and then you go on and explain why you think the dismissal was probably justified. Sometimes maybe you go out for a drink and one of your friends might say, listen, I'm not stopping long. I'm only staying for one pint, okay? Uh, you say that but we both know it's not true. Sometimes you don't even need to add the second part. You can just say, you say that, and the implication is, but we both know it's not true. We both know that in this instance, after one point, there'll probably be another one. In the same kind of way, sometimes I'm watching football, I get very frustrated when my team lose, sometimes I have a little strop and maybe I say, that's it, I'm done with football. At which point my wife usually looks at me and says, ha, you say that? If you've enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. Please share it on social media with your friends, your students, your colleagues, and in the comment section below. We'd love to see little examples of how you might use, you say that,